Hello, I am Faith P, your host with Grow Your Legacy Podcast. Today, we are talking about something super exciting that you guys have been calling me about. We're going to talk about getting approved for a lot loan. And we are here with none other than Jordan. He is an amazing resource for tons of information to get you approved for a lot loan. So introduce yourself, Jordan. Hey, everybody. My name is Jordan Hawthorne. I'm the vice president here at United Community Bank in Atlanta. And we can help you with any of your banking needs, any lending needs, anything you pretty much need, we can do for you. Perfect. So I have a couple of questions about lot loans. A lot of you guys have been calling me trying to figure out, well, how do I finance this land? This is your guy. So how do you get approved for a lot loan? So it's very similar to if you're going to be pre-approved for a home. So I have an online application or we can do it in person or over the phone. But it's the same requirements. We get all your information. Just kind of need to know how much you want to be pre-approved for, calculate that payment. So it's very similar to a house, so very quick and easy. Excellent. So what are some things to keep in mind about the approval process? What are some caveats that people need to know, um, be aware of before they get into the process? I would say the main thing is the main difference between land loan and a home mortgage is the down payment requirement. So we actually go off your purchase price. So if the land is considered developed, meaning there has been some clearing done or let's say a driveway or water or utilities there, then it's only 25% down of that purchase price. If it's just straight trees where you can't even access the land, then it's going to be 35% down because it's undeveloped. And of course, the rates are higher because your primary residence is not on it. But of course, it's basically supposed to be a bridge loan. So that way, when you go to build your house, that land loan gets paid off through your construction loan. Okay, that's great. That's some great percentages there, guys. Only 25 and 35, depending on the, if the land is developed or not. So what are the best reasons to buy land right now? I would say the best reason to buy land is land is always appreciating the value. You can't make more land. So of course, you see all these homes popping up, but land is one of those things that's always going to be constant and you can't grow more land. So if you're love a certain area and you're just not ready to build, you can hold on to that land for years and generations. That way you have the opportunity to make that your dream home. Most definitely. So what would hinder someone from getting approved? I know a lot of you are calling, you already have existing mortgages, maybe even a second mortgage. What would hinder someone from getting approved for a lot loan? I would say the main thing is if you're keeping your primary residence is handling two payments. Because, of course, we still have to look at your debt income ratio, just like you're buying your primary residence. So you always have to make sure that you can hold both payments if you're not selling your house. But if you can rent or move in with family or friends, she can always sell your house for you. And that way you can qualify for that land loan. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So as long as you can handle the payment, it doesn't matter. You can still get a lot loan. It really just depends on the debt to income ratio. Like he said, putting down 25% and 35% for developed or undeveloped. Now tell us the debt to income ratio needed for the lot loan. Of course. So with including the land, you would need to be around a 40% debt to income ratio, which is very similar to if you're buying a home. Now we also have a bunch of different options like um, an arm rate. So basically where it's fixed for three years, um, and stretches the payment out for 15 years, which lowers that payment for you if you want to try to keep that house. So there's a bunch of different options that we can look at. Um, but that is the main thing is being at that 40% debt to income ratio. And then, of course, the cash reserves to have that 25% down or 35% down. Yes, you have to have the assets in the bank so that they can actually have proof in C. So there you have it, everybody. Jordan has told us everything we need to know to get approved for a lot loan. You guys can call me. I will refer you to him. Um, I'll leave his information down below if you just want to skip the whole process and get right into the application and then call me after you're approved. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.